The hunting season is officially open as of the 1st of October and will conclude on the preceding year on the last day of February. The Forestry Division will continue to amplify their patrols throughout the various forested areas of Trinidad and Tobago in an effort to monitor and intercept any breaches within the Conservation of Wildlife Act, Chapter 6701. With the recent addition of 28 game wardens to complement the Forestry Division, they will be strategically placed to assist forest officers along with the collaborative efforts of the police service in conducting roadblock exercises, inspections of hunting permits, and camping sites throughout the hunting season. In anticipation of the beginning of the hunting season, on October 1st, hunters throughout the country gather at the various authorized stations in Trinidad and Tobago to purchase their state game licenses, which were being sold days before the opening day, which enables hunters to hunt game species outlined on their respective permits on state lands and forest reserves during the season. It must be noted that the hunting of lizards are from October 1st to the last day in February, with the exception that hunting of lizards are not permitted within the municipal boundaries of the city of Port of Spain. Be mindful that you are now only permitted to hunt iguanas throughout Trinidad and Tobago with the exception of the municipal boundaries of the city of Port of Spain from October 1st to the 31st of December, as amended on Legal Notice 281, effective from September 11, 2019, in the Conservation of Wildlife Act. It is paramount for hunters to know the areas where they are permitted to hunt and where hunting is strictly prohibited. This can be categorized into two groups, game sanctuaries and protected and environmentally sensitive areas. The 12 game sanctuaries are Northern Range, Valencia, Central Range, Trinity Hills, Southern Watershed, Little Tobago, Shodo, Soldado Rock, Carney Swamp, Kronstadt Island, Mont Lefer, and Bush Bush Wildlife Sanctuary. During the current pandemic, public health ordinances should be adhered to as well as considering the state of emergency Obeying curfew hours is a necessity. Special emphasis is placed on the first day of the hunting season, where game wardens, forest officers and forest rangers of the Forestry Division undertake an array of duties. These include patrolling, stop and search exercises, inspection of hunting permits, firearm licenses and camps throughout the country to ensure there are no violations of the Conservation of Wildlife Act. Patrols will be deployed but will not be limited to known hotspots to detect offences and will include joint exercises with other law enforcement agencies. In addition to detecting offences, game wardens and other forestry officers would undertake a public education exercise that will incorporate laws and regulations as it relates to the Conservation of Wildlife Act and the importance of sustainable hunting as the Forestry Division recognizes hunters as a major stakeholder with the intention of deterring poachers from depleting the wildlife resources, thus fostering a positive relationship between game wardens, forestry officers and the public from which the environment and wildlife will ultimately benefit. The wardens have been out since 4 o'clock, 4 a.m. this morning, patrolling the forested areas to ensure that hunters move in accordance with the law or they observe the hunting laws. This is something that will be ongoing throughout the open season. We are advising hunters to please observe the law as it relates to the hunting laws and more so the SOE that is in effect in terms of the, the COVID-19 pandemic and the curfew period. Uh, hunting legally in Trinidad is supposed to end at 7.30 p.m every night. Now there, were, there is a customary um, thing that persons do in terms of staying in camps and so on. Um, that is not allowed at this point in time because 
By law, persons are supposed to be in their dwelling houses by 10 p.m. The opening of the hunting season is from the 1st of October to the last day in February of the preceding year. The Forestry Division is here to monitor and enforce based on the Conservation of Wildlife Act. Section 5.1 of the Regulation of the Conservation of Wildlife Act prohibits the use of artificial light for the purpose of hunting. Also, we must mention Section 7.1 of the Regulation of the Conservation of Wildlife Act which disallow hunting in forest reserve from 7.30 p.m. to 5 a.m. of the succeeding day. These regulations within the Conservation of Wildlife Act give the game species a fair chance, as hunting ought to be a sporting activity and not an onslaught on our game species. The hunting community is advised that under the current SOE, they must adhere to the curfew hours. At this point in time, I wish to thank all game warden and forest officers for their continued dedication in monitoring, educating and enforcement under the Conservation of Wildlife Act.